guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an unboxing and review, first impression review, of my new vacuum. I've never done one of these before, but I thought I would give it a try. Haven't got a new vacuum in a long time, and I want to tell you guys if it's good or if I recommend it. So, this is the vacuum that I got. Power Lifter Swivel Pet Pro by Bissell. Supposed to be good for pet hair. So, I'm going to put it to the test today. My bedroom needs a good vacuuming. I also want to try it on hardwood and also maybe on the couch because those are areas that I'd be using it and I'll let you know what I think. So let's get this baby out of the box and see if we have to put anything together. I don't know. A manual, the Febreze filter, and a couple, a couple of attachments. There's a pet hair eraser attachment and a turbo eraser pet. I guess this is like a brush or something. It's like silicone instead of like hairs. It's a little silicone in there. Okay, so this was everything in the box. The handle, a tube, the hose, those two attachments. Hello, Jake. Um, the filter right here, the manual, registration for warranty, and the vacuum. Uh, I like that it's purple, to be honest. Um, just purple is my favorite color, maybe. <laughs> so let's set, er, let's set this bad boy up, shall we? Yesterday, no, I don't think you're here to stay. No, I don't think you're here to stay. So tell me what you want, tell me how you want it, tell me all the reasons that you're running away. I don't think you're here to stay. No, I don't think you're here to stay. No, no, no. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. frustration um, so here's how she looks I thought the filter there would have to put in but there's actually already one in here so you just release it right here and then it opens and there's already a filter in there so we get a backup in the box so that's nice and it's the it's got a Febreze scent to it so it'll help make your house smell nice Okay, on the back here, um, I put the hose on, got our little attachment thingy, I wound the cord around, there's the power button and the, the handle release button, like this, um, so you can just do it with your feet, which is nice. Uh, let's see what else is there. There's a little knob here to show you which level you're on. And there's also a suction indication, so it's green right now. I'm guessing that when it turns red, that probably means we need to empty our container. So let's plug this bad boy in and see how she does. I'm going to start in the bedroom. All right. Here's the state of the bedroom carpet before. It might be a little dark, but you can see there's a bunch of hair and stuff in the carpet. It's really bad over here. Dog hair. Some fluff from a toy. But what I'm really hoping is that it's gonna get this hair that's all worked into the crevices here. 
Can you see that down in there? Because my other vacuum, you had to change the whole head of it just to put a hose on. So I'm really hoping that this has some good suction power. Let me plug this thing in, and we're going to do this test spot right here, this hair. So, as you can see, it worked really well on that. Like, as I'm passing over it, I can see the carpet coming up off the ground. So, I know that it's getting in there, which is nice. Um, also, the I can smell the Febreze already, which is pleasant. Okay, so, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the room. And then, I'll let you know how that goes. And then, I'll show you using the hose and stuff. So... Yep. Uh, also, hopefully you can see in the video, um, it swivels. When you turn the handle, like the base, the when you turn the handle, like the base of it, uh, when you turn the handle, the base of it like swivels. That's cool. I'll show you more. Um, oh my gosh. Look at how much is in this thing already. Just from that one pass. Can you see that? That's trip that's crazy. Like oh, my carpet was in some need of a vacuum. We're gonna get the rest of this thing done. I don't think you're here to stay. No, I don't think you're here to stay. So tell me what you want, tell me how you want it, tell me all the reasons that you're running away. I don't think you're here to stay. No, I don't you're here to stay, no, no, no I just wanna be with you I just wanna be with you, yeah I just wanna be with you Yeah, I just wanna be with you I just wanna be with you I just wanna be with you, yeah I just wanna be with you Yeah, I just wanna be with you I just wanna dance all night Forget my problems at my I feel like that did a really good job like you can see the vacuum lines which I love my carpet feel it looks like so squishy and soft which it is but yeah I'm really impressed with this it looks good sorry if it's a little bit dark you can really see the vacuum lines which I love that let's just take a look at this Oh, oh my golly, that's just from one room. Look at how much hair was in there. That's crazy. I should probably empty it, but I'm, I really want to try the hose out. So, um, it was really good at picking up even like, um, there was an almond on the ground. How that got there, I don't know, but it picked it up just fine. Um, it uh, picked up some fluff. It kind of broke it into smaller pieces and then picked it up, which that's fine. I was surprised that it did that that good. This is turning into like a great purchase. Oh, also I have it on the, the third carpet setting, which I feel is doing a good job. I may even take it down one because I can, I don't know if I just missed this spot, but I can see some dog hair right here. So I'm going to test out the hose. And then I'm going to turn it down a level and go over. Oh, I'm going to empty it out, turn it down a level, and then go over it again. And I'm going to have to change my memory card because there's only five minutes left. Jeez. All right, we got the hose hooked up. Honestly, I wish it was a little bit longer. I'm going to have to bend over about halfway to get to the ground, which isn't a big deal. I have another hose that I can use for my other vacuum. But um, if you have a bad back or something, keep that in mind. The hose doesn't reach all the way to the floor without you bending over. Ooh, you saw that! 
that, didn't you? Oh, you have no idea how happy that makes me to have a hose hooked to my vacuum that I can attach to it. Oh, I've never been more happy to vacuum in my life. I actually do like vacuuming, so I'm going to go around the room, do all that, get into the little crannies where all my, like, stuff is right here, and get all that dog hair out of here because it's annoying. And, um... I have to change my memory card though. And then I'm going to empty this. And. Yeah. We'll go from there. I don't really give a damn what they say. And now you know, now you know it. I feel like you're lying. I just did all of the wall edges or whatever. One complaint I do have, I don't know if because it's new, but the hose doesn't stretch very well, so it, the vacuum kept falling on me or falling over, and that's one complaint that I have, and it actually is really annoying. I don't know if the tube just needs to get stretched out a little bit, but keep that in mind. It doesn't roll very well. You have to keep the vacuum right next to you when you're doing it and almost even just holding on to it at all times or it's going to fall over. Uh, that's another um, thing that I don't like so much. But I am going to empty this canister now and then we're going to give it one more pass. I'm going to show you how full it is though. Look at that. In the light, it is full, people. There is a lot of dog hair in this but that's good right now it's no longer in my floor I think all you have to do to um, get the dirt out is just push just push this button here and this should should just release there we go it all came out with just a little shake, which I'm glad. I've had vacuums before where you kind of have to dig your hand in there to get it out, but I'm glad that you don't have to do that with this one. Not near as much, but can you s whoa see that? Dang, there's a lot of stuff that I still picked up. Maybe it's because I needed to put it down another level, but my carpet feels soft. I'm not getting any hair coming off when I pick at it. Nothing. Um, overall, that's a pretty good, um, Maybe the canister just got too full. <sighs> I think it's because I lowered the dial. It got a little bit de deeper in there. Um, but yeah. I think I'm going to try it on Bella's dog beds. Um, because Matt's out there on the couch right now. And But I feel like if it can do good in these dog beds, then it'll probably do good on the couch. So let's test that out. These two attachments that came with it. Honestly, um, I thought I was going to miss some of the attachments, like they're not, there's only like two attachments, or three attachments, but really, it's less to keep track of, um, less you have to like find a place to put. I don't think I'm mad about it, I think, um, I think that's fine. Um, let's test out these though attachments and see how they work. Let me just show you the state of this dog bed. Again, I think this is too dark for you to be able to see, but it is filled with dog hair.
know if that helps at all. I don't have the best camera, guys. I'm sorry, but uh, we're going to try using these attachments to get this hair out of here. Oh, there you can kind of see there's some big globs in there. I just want to dance all night to get my problems out my go insane. I don't really give a damn what they say. And now you know, now you know it. And vacuum at the same time it wasn't really working I had to put you down uh, but here's her bed after about three minutes or so of vacuuming um, it did a pretty good job it didn't get every single last hair I'm sure if I wanted to spend more time on it I'd probably be able to get them all but um, it looks almost brand new it's nice and soft um, I think that's a pretty good um, job. So let's try the other one. It's made out of like a different material. I want to try this this attachment here. I've never seen this before on a vacuum. It's like these little felt pads or something. I don't know. We're going to give it a try on this bed over here. Quick work of this bed. I don't know if uh, this bed's relatively new. She's only had it for about two weeks. Uh, sorry, my back's hurting. Ugh. But this attachment right here, you saw that took like 30 seconds. It like collects it on this um, brush though. I don't know if you can see. There you go. It collects it on that. So I guess you just have to pick it off because it doesn't rotate. It only like goes one over but yeah overall I'm pretty proud of this purchase I um, I would recommend it if you're looking for a relatively cheap vacuum uh, like I said I think it was $98 um, oh sorry I can't lay it on the floor like that like pops my ribs out of place anyways yeah, um, overall, I think this was a good purchase. I'm pretty happy with it. I do need to test it out on the hardwood. I am who I'm meant to be. I am who I'm meant to be. Over and out. Over and out. Again. My future needed clarity. So I could see how you react. finished doing it on the hardwood and it did good I figured it would since it did that good on the carpet oh let me lay down my back hurts um give you my final thoughts so overall I am really happy with this purchase I'm finally uh, happy to have a vacuum that's not so big and bulky um, it's very lightweight, so it doesn't take a lot to push it back and forth. With the swivel thing, it's really nice. You don't have to go back and forward. And to get the, uh, the angle that you need, you can just turn your wrist and it turns the, the whole vacuum. So that's nice. Another thing I like is I can transition from carpet to um, hardwood. I don't even have to change the dial, really. It, I just put it on the second thing and that worked really good um, with doing the carbon and the hardwood uh, it even did really well sucking up all the major uh, dog hair clumps picked them up with no problem some cons that I have though are well, basically you have to keep the vacuum right next to you when you're using the hose uh, it'll just fall over um, when you're trying to do it if you're not paying attention to it uh, the hose doesn't stretch that far. Uh, I don't know if you'd be able to really like get up in high places. Uh, let's see. I think that's really the only major con that I have. Um, there's some little things I'm going to get used to like wrapping the cord up uh, through the back and not on the side like a Kirby. So 
when I go to put the the wand hose away, um, I have to make sure that the cord isn't in the way, or the hose uh, attachment won't fit in correctly. Um, but other than that, uh, I like how powerful it is. It's not too loud. I think it for the price, ninety eight dollars. I feel like that's a bargain. I feel like um, they've done a good job uh, with this vacuum. I really just needed something for dog hair, and you saw how much dog hair I collected, like two canisters worth, basically, after I did the dog beds and the carpet and the hardwood. Ugh, that's so satisfying to see. Just go into the trash and not in my house anymore. Other than that, I'd probably give it like a a four to four and a half stars out of five. Um, if the hose was a little bit longer, like I said, I don't know if that's because it's brand new. Uh, I need to work with it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, uh, I think it's a good bargain. I can leave the link down below. It's not sponsored or anything. I just went and bought this vacuum today uh, at Walmart. I think that's everything I have to say about it. If you have any questions, um, leave them down in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them or research it if, um, if I don't know the answer. But yeah, I'm happy to have this in my cleaning arsenal now. I probably won't use it to clean the hardwoods every time because I really love my Swiffer Vac. But when I want to get a, a nice clean where I can get around the edges and stuff, I'll definitely be using that. And it's not so big as my Kirby. I feel like it'll fit in my closet much nicer. Anyways, I'm just kind of going around in circles now. Um, overall, I love it. I would recommend. Um, you've heard my pros and cons. You decide for yourself. But I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!